toi and fight et bat toi like a man comme un homme I grew up hearing that. That was, a, that was the challenge constantly. Stand up and fight like a man. Nobody ever said. Personne n'a jamais dit. I'm gonna get in real trouble over this. <laughs> Nobody ever said. Personne n'a jamais dit. Stand up and fight like a woman. I'm done. It's my last sermon in several. But I learned something else. There's a lot of tough women out there nowadays. I ain't gonna pick a fight with any of them. We've since discovered that some women can fight. <laughs> But this is what Goliath was saying. Mais voici ce que Goliath disait. I need a man that will stand up. J'ai besoin d'un homme qui va se lever. I need a man that knows how to fight. J'ai besoin d'un homme qui sait comment se battre. Oh, I'd like to turn that around a little bit. Oh, j'aimerais détourner cela un peu. And tell all of you men that are in the church. Et vous dire à tous les hommes qui sont dans l'église. The kingdom of God needs men. Le royaume de Dieu a besoin d'hommes. Men who know how to fight. Des hommes qui savent comment se battre. I'm not talking about hurting people. I'm talking about fighting for something great. And that's a good fight of faith. We need men who can stand up and fight the good fight. It takes a man to put his name in that prayer fasting chain. It takes a man who will live honest. It takes a man who will be a worshiper. It takes a man to leave his family to walk with God. That's something that Goliath said that's right. Our culture needs men. Men who walk like men. And talk like men. And live like men of God. Alright, how did that go? <laughs> I noticed something. J'ai remarqué quelque chose. Up until David appeared, jusqu'à l'apparition de David, Goliath's most terrorizing weapons, les armes qui terrifiaient le plus qui appartenaient à Goliath, were two in number. Étaient deux en chiffre. There are two things that Goliath used. Il y avait deux choses que Goliath utilisait. To cook fear into the army of Israel. Pour mettre la crainte dans l'armée d'Israël. Two things. Deux choses. He used his reputation. Il a utilisé sa réputation. And he used his voice. Et il a utilisé sa voix. His reputation. He was known as a champion. Sa réputation, il était connu comme un champion. And his voice, because his voice was powerful. Et sa voix, parce que sa voix était puissante. I don't know if you've ever studied the Nazi regime or not. Je ne sais pas si vous avez déjà étudié le régime nazi. I've studied it in great detail. Je l'ai étudié en grand détail. Hitler and the Nazi regime. Hitler et le régime nazi. They were completely corrupt. Ils étaient complètement corrompus. And evil. Et, et méchants. But they were not stupid. Mais ils n'étaient pas stupides. And one of the things that Hitler and his regime used. Et une des choses que Hitler et son régime utilisaient. Was the power of radio and communication. C'était la puissance de la radio et de la communication. They took control. Il prenait contrôle of what the masses were hearing. De ce que les masses entendaient. And this is why your Bible tells you. Et voici pourquoi votre Bible vous dit. If any man have an ear to hear, que ce l'homme qui a l'oreille pour entendre, entende. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Et qu'il entende ce que l'Esprit dit à l'Église. The Spirit of God is speaking things. L'Esprit de Dieu parle et déclare des choses. That are far different from what society is speaking. Qui sont bien et loin en différence à ce que la société dit. And from what meaning is telling us. I'm just about to the point now where I read something 
Ou est-ce que je lis quelque chose? Or I hear something. Ou j'écoute quelque chose? Or I see something posted. Ou que je vois quelque chose qui a été posté? it says God is love. Et à moins que ça dise Dieu est amour. I'm probably not going to believe it. Je vais probablement pas le croire. Especially if it's coming from the news or the media. Surtout si ça vient des nouvelles ou des médias. Because it oftentimes is just not true. Parce que la plupart du temps c'est juste faux. I know buying very much of what I'm being told by by society. Et je n'achète pas ce que la société me dit. I don't believe that everybody who dies unfortunately goes to heaven. Je ne crois pas que tout le monde qui meurt malheureusement se retrouve au ciel. I don't believe that we're better off. When we embrace sin, je pense pas qu'on est mieux quand nous nous embrassons le péché. I don't believe that we're better off when we celebrate debauchery. Je pense no, pas qu'on est mieux quand on célèbre la débauche. Non, pas I don't, du tout. I don't believe that's helping us one little bit. Je pense pas que ça nous aide même pas un petit peu. I don't believe that Jesus Christ is one of the options and one of the roads to get to heaven. Je ne pense pas que Jésus Christ est une des options ou un des chemins qui mène au ciel. And I don't believe that Bible believing people are haters. Et je ne pense pas que ceux qui croient à la Bible Let me tell you something tonight. We are not haters. Je vous dis ce soir, on n'est pas des méchants. We are the church. Je suis le Christ. We don't hate anybody. Et nous détestons personne. We love everybody. Nous aimons tout le monde. I'll tell you what we hate. Je vais vous dire ce qu'on aime. We hate the sin. And the iniquity, and the and the messed up stuff, and he shows this on that that is causing ruin to millions of people. That's what we hate. We love the gospel. We love the gospel. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. And if you love Jesus, then you love people. And in the email, he asked me a question. Et dans ce courriel, il m'a posé une question. He said, "Do you accept these type of people in your church?" Il m'a dit, "Est-ce que tu acceptes ce genre de personnes dans ton église?" And I responded. Et j'ai répondu. And I said, "We accept everybody in our church." Et j'ai répondu, nous acceptons tout le monde dans notre église. And having said that, et ayant dit cela, we rejoice. Nous nous réjouissons. To know. À savoir that Jesus changes lives. We rejoice to know that Jesus is a healer and delivers us from sin and sets us on a road that's pure and powerful. I mean, how could you get in trouble for that kind of an answer? Je veux dire, comment est-ce que tu vas être dans les trous pour ce genre de réponse? 